Working alongside our allies, we will break their will, dry up their recruitment, keep them from crossing our borders, and yes, we will defeat them, and we will defeat them handily. President Trump announcing a new strategy for the war in Afghanistan. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm Leah Martin. The commander-in-chief also had a message for a divided nation. Louisa Muller joins us now with more on this breaking news. Louisa? Liam, Lisa, it's a war that's lasted nearly 17 years, cost hundreds of billions of dollars and thousands of American lives. But given the resurgence in violence in Afghanistan, President Trump told the country in his first primetime policy speech, we can't leave yet. My original instinct was to pull out. Marking a I fundamental shift in his own personal beliefs, President Trump told a military audience and the nation totally Monday that he will not pull troops out of Afghanistan. We will fight, he says, to win. A hasty withdrawal would create a vacuum that terrorists, including ISIS and al-Qaeda, would instantly fill. Part of the president's strategy, purposefully withholding details. We will not talk about numbers of troops or our plans for further military activities. Next, the commander-in-chief said the U.S. will no longer provide billions of dollars to Pakistan, which has been considered a safe haven for terrorists. He moved on to the government of Afghanistan. We are a partner and a friend, but we will not dictate to the Afghan people how to live or how to govern their own complex society. We are not nation building again. We are killing terrorists. Not all of his words focused on war. Some aimed at unifying the nation after the events in Charlottesville, Virginia. We cannot remain a force for peace in the world if we are not at peace with each other. 52 service members with ties to Massachusetts were killed in combat in Afghanistan. Lisa? Louisa, thank you.